Hope you're having a great day. And we're having a great day. It's getting even better because of this announcement that I'm about to make. And Don and Peter join me in welcoming the Yankee manager, Aaron Boone. He will be a regular part of the show. He will appear with us every week during the regular season. And as far as the Yankees go in the postseason as well. So he is a member of wow. the TMKS family. Wow. And we are thrilled about that. Aaron, I hope that you're thrilled as well. I am. I'm, I'm really excited to be on with you, um, you know, and, and prove to Peter that I'm not in my 50s yet. Um, and, you know, and hopefully we're having a good time because we're having a great season. But, but uh, I am looking forward to being on with all three of you guys all season long. So that's stuck in your craw, clearly. I, I told Peter that it bothered you. <laughs> and who you know, came I, in under, Aaron? Uh, uh, yes, you did, Don. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, I've been... You know, working the facial creams and everything, you know, trying to, you know, get the right amount of sun, but not too much down here. But, no, anyway. Michael, how you feeling? I feel a lot better, thank you. Kind of turned the it, corner yesterday. Oh, good. Yeah. And, and, Don, you're you're good to go, right? Yes, all, all raring to go, getting ready for a baseball season that should be a lot of fun, Aaron. Really looking forward to, you know, obviously with the DeGrom stuff aside, to be able to get both of these teams with the expectations as high as they are is just going to be a lot of fun. And to get to talk to, about your team once a week is going to be terrific. Yeah, I, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, obviously I, I, I go way back with, with Michael now. And uh, I've known you guys for a while and, and respect what you guys do. And, um, yeah, looking forward to talking baseball with you guys each and every week. Yeah, it'll be yeah. Thursday at 4 p.m. every single Thursday. And obviously, if there's a game, like we hope there will be uh, this Thursday opening day, it'll be after the game. And what are you hearing, Aaron? Is, is, is the rain going to be bad? Might it be moved to Friday? Yeah, I think there's that possibility. Um, you, you know, I haven't looked at the weather report uh, since well before the game today, but, but I, I know Thursday is looking a little bit dicey. So, uh, you know, hopefully they can make a call on that one way or the other in the next uh, day or two. And uh, as much as you want to get that game going on Thursday, just as a manager, forget all the pomp and circumstance of opening day, would you rather it be Friday with no worries than maybe having to get a starter up and down and maybe have to you know, mess things up if you've got a bunch of delays? Oh, no question. No question I'd rather have it be Friday. I mean, uh, you, you know, if, if, if Thursday looks like it's in play, though, I mean, I think it's beneficial to have that into an off day. And then, and then obviously, we played nine in a row after that. So that's perfect world. But, but if there's going to be a significant question about the weather, um, yeah, I think it would be better to put it till Friday. How tough are these cuts, Aaron? You, you, can, ha you can open up with a 28-man roster, obviously, yep. until May. Are you having trouble with some of these cuts? Um, we're, we're having a lot of uh, good debate, robust debate. Um, you know, we got after it pretty good this morning and, and kind of letting everyone weigh in and, and give give some strong opinions or pound the table for this guy or that guy. Um, you know what the good thing is, um, you know, especially from, from now the as we decide the final p pitching side of things, you know, talking about 15 or potentially 16 pitchers, um, you know, the fact that we're talking about guys and, and we sent down a few guys today from, from the pitching side of things that I do feel like we have good decisions for the back end of the roster. And that's and it's going to play an important role in, in the first month. We play 24 out of 26 after that off day with, with starting pitchers not totally built up yet. Um, it's going to be critical that, you know, we you're going to use the 14th and 15th pitcher uh, on your staff in, in probably significant situations early in the season. So I, I feel like the fact that we have some tough decisions, you know, we sent out um, Luis Heal and Davey Garcia and Manny Banuelos today, all guys that we feel like w potentially will contribute at maybe early in the season, but certainly have the ability uh, to get quality hitters out. Another thing we've discussed a lot, um, Aaron was just how how do you do it with DJ? I mean, he's been such a major part of what you do. Is is there a certain amount of a bat you think you can get him? Do you think he can play a significant role on your team if there are no injuries? Is there going to be a, a consistent place for him, or is he just going to be that role player until something happens? Yeah, I think he's going to end up probably playing just about every day. Um, you know whether somebody goes down or not I, I think in a perfect world um, everyone's healthy and I still think it it works out and you know 
when I brought you know I brought all these guys in and, and talked to them about you know potentially an uncomfortable situation on opening day or day two or whatever where where a guy that I think if they're healthy is going to get over 500 at bats may be sitting um, you know and, and I I referenced DJ in that. In, in, in that meeting, you know, in, in 2019 when we brought him in and I, I had the conversation with him directly as saying, look, I think you're going to play pretty much every day, uh, but you might not play on opening day. He didn't. He got 655 plate appearances, finished fourth in the MVP, and, uh, you know, I, I think that worked out pretty well. So um, I'm not that worried about it, you know. It'll make for an uncomfortable, tough conversation there the first day when you got to sit a significant guy guy but I think we're all on the same page about what our focus is and that's to go out and be a championship club and we know we got to all support each other and uh, pour into one another and lean on each other and and you know there's going to be days when a guy's upset and that's okay. Now a really nice story today at least we thought it was J.P. Sears told Meredith yeah Aaron told me I made the team and his family was crying and he was crying and then <laughs> when you met the media afterward you saw well not so fast nothing's been decided so what is yeah. the story there? Did they cry too soon? Well, I look, I, I, I very much believe JP is going to be on the team. I just, there's nothing official to announce, mm -hmm. um, you know, because, and, and I told him this too as well, is, you know, the next 24, 48 hours, there's always things that can happen that can change some things. So I wasn't quite ready to go all the way there, but I wanted to give him that courtesy um, because we leave tomorrow and I told him he'll be traveling north for him, but I can't go all out and say you're on the team yet but it's certainly looking like that Aaron is there one facet of this club that in in your eyes is an X factor that maybe you're concerned about but you know if it goes well will make all the difference to this season being successful I think getting off to a reasonable start with our starting pitching like you know, I feel like we're in a good place with our pitching. Um, I feel like guys are doing well and ready to go. Um, I feel like we have a tremendous bullpen, but but there's still that coming out of the gate, and and we're building guys up still. Um, so you're going to have to fill these innings at times pretty creatively. Um, so just you know, making sure we do that with obviously the urgency that you know we got to win games. Obviously, we want to get off to a good start, but we also got to you know keep these guys built properly and healthy and and to give us our best chance to win so a little bit of that that's kind of when i when we're getting ready to break I, I feel like we've had a good camp i feel like guys did a great job um <clears throat> during uh during the lockout where we we didn't have any contact with them they came in in really good physical condition pretty much across the board and i'm pleased with like our position players i feel like have, have gotten built up well they've played a lot they've seen a lot of live pitching um you know I, our pitchers i feel like are in a good spot but it's still like here we go and we're right into the throes of things so th that always gives you a little bit of apprehension but um I, I i do like our club i think we got a really good chance of of having a special season I, I i like what i'm seeing like behind the scenes of this team kind of coming together um with with a kind of an urgency and an intensity that hopefully serves us well but you know at the end of the day we're we're early april right now and and we got to go prove it now on the day that we i mean final thing because i know you have to get back downstairs you guys are trying to put together this roster so we announced that you're going to be with us every thursday at four partnership we love it so i think it's it's only apropos that uh, that you actually break news right now. So has Judge oh. signed the extension? <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> does he does he seem happy? The, it, Judge, he always seems happy. Um, <laughs> you know, he's got a well, he's got a little edge to him, but he's always uh, he's always happy. And anytime you throw one off the right center field fence and then go deep in your last at bat before you're calling it a day. Uh, He's in a good place and, and right in the middle of some really good things that are happening behind the scenes. So, oh, Good stuff. Aaron, we look forward to every Thursday at 4 o'clock. And obviously, I'll see you every day. But thank you. This is fun. And we're, we're thrilled that you decided to join up with us. All right. Appreciate it, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Yes, you got it. Great. Thanks, Aaron. That, that is Aaron Boone, the manager of the New York Yankees. Every Thursday at 4, this is the only place no. you could hear him. The only place you could hear him. And Peter, he didn't forget. I'm telling you, when you insult no. people like that, they don't forget. It was not Ever. an insult. It wasn't an he insult. He thought he was over 50. It was accidentally something that he took as an insult.
Oh, that, see, that's just gobbledygook is what you're throwing now. 